we've seen reports this year of what is supposedly secure messaging on Apple's iMessage, where those messages have been read, have been provided to law enforcement. So how do you stay safe? How do you stop Apple secretly reading your messages? How safe is iMessage, Zach? I mean, I'm under the impression as an Apple user, I use Signal, I use WhatsApp when other people use it. I don't really have a reason to use iMessage anyway. Is there a reason that I should be using it? I mean, it is encrypted, isn't it? Is it safer than WhatsApp and Signal? It, it's a great question, Kate. And, and in the US, iMessage is actually more popular than WhatsApp, which is a bone of contention for Facebook, both um, Zuckerberg and, and WhatsApp senior leadership have, have made that point in the last few months. Um, what, what's little known is the actual architecture that underpins iMessage, not SMS that you send on your iPhone, but actual iMessage itself is the top of the tree. It's better than signals, it's better than WhatsApp. It, it has things within it that the others can't match, particularly around the ability to offer seamless messaging across multiple devices, your Mac, your iPad, your iPhone, all of which is end-to-end -end encrypted. So what you see with something like Signal is that um, a, a client, a, a new device, or a linked device, only gets messages while it's linked. And then there's no um, rolling backup, if you like. There's no ability to synchronize. iMessage has solved that. Unless you're a journalist, unless you're a dissident in, a, in particular countries, um, unless you're a criminal, um, who ne really needs to be concerned about this? Is this something that can impact anybody? The obvious risk is, you know, not for many people, but if law enforcement comes calling in a jurisdiction with a warrant, then your messages can be retrieved and provided. And we see lots of, uh, lots of evidence of that happening. The interesting thing with iMessage is, um, completely differently to WhatsApp today, iMessage provides you with the ability to extend end-to-end -end encryption across all of your devices in such a way that Apple doesn't hold a key. And there's a little setting that you need to change to make that work. So... The first thing you need to do is you need to have uh, messages in iCloud, as it's called, which means that you operate this seamless messaging ecosystem across all of your devices. And then to do that, you need to have two-factor authentication and you need to enable that on your devices. It's a very simple setting. You know, we'll, we'll show you the details within, within this video. But then the trick is this. If you just do that and nothing else, Apple will store a copy of your encryption key in your general cloud, iCloud backup. So in essence, although it's end-to-end -end encrypted between all of these devices, Apple has a copy of the key. Now you can stop Apple holding a copy of the key by turning off your generic iCloud backup, which is again, a little setting that we'll show you here. Now, you might ask if there's an issue in doing that, and there absolutely was once upon a time when we really operated the concept of, you just had a backup, you got a new device, you restored your backup. But these days with where the cloud is, almost everything is synchronized. So you'll know now when you get a new iPhone, the actual restore of the backup is super fast. You know, it puts your apps in the right place and you get the nice background restored. Your phone then probably goes into a you know, multiple hour synchronization of all of your iCloud and everything else that's cloud-based, including Microsoft and Google services, and everything kind of finds its way back onto your device. Not disabling that backup doesn't change any of that. It's all still there. But what it does do is it stops Apple storing a copy of your encryption key. And to its credit, Apple then, um, it issues a new key, so a brand new encryption key for the end-to-end -end encryption on your iMessage that it doesn't have a, a copy of. That's really cool and actually it's really worth taking those steps. It's not going to take someone a long time to do that, is it? So although I don't use iMessage, sometimes obviously people are going to want to contact you that way. You can't really do anything about that, so you can do that. And then would you advise people to preferably use an end-to-end -end service like Signal in the first place? where possible? Absolutely. Signal is the best end-to-end -end encrypted messenger. Um, if you take everything in the round, that, that's the one clearly we're, we're all using. iMessage is a phenomenal um, piece of architecture. And, and the disadvantage with Signal on an iPhone is that you can't operate Signal as an SMS client. So you have to operate two different applications to see all your messages. Now, you know, if we talk about Android, on Android, there absolutely isn't any excuse whatsoever not to use Signal because you can operate it as your default SMS client. So you've got a single messenger. That's perfect. It'd be great if, if Apple did the same. It, it would be ideal, but clearly they want you to uh, want you to run your messaging and iMessage. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a huge point of principle here. Um, you're either end-to-end -end encrypted or you're not. It's really super simple. Um, if I worry about the end-to-end -end encryption when I'm messaging you guys, then that's fine. But if I then take all of those messages on your device and my device out of end-to-end -end encryption and store it somewhere, what is the point of the end-to-end -end encryption? I think let's, let's establish that. 
whether or not there's a risk that somebody's going to read those messages, you know, we at least can accept the fact that the end-to-end -end encryption has come to an end. Dealing with the, um, yeah, I'll, I'll stop there. That's fine. Is that it? Ooh. No, no, I'm not Ooh. the whole thing. Oh, I'll stop <laughs> sorry. That question. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> you heard it here first, right? <laughs> you can have that bit on the end as well. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>